Right, let's turn our machine into development server. Please note, when you are dealing with serious stuff as programming, security, banking, always download uh, applications from official websites. Do not use FTP servers, don't use torrents and so on, don't use uh, old CDs from PC magazines because you will probably get some kind of Trojan horse keylogger or something, so don't do that, okay? Always use SSL connection, secure stuff, you know, to grab those things. So down there you can choose between dev server and web server on the right side. Don't choose web server. This thing uh, is important if you have already created your website, okay? If you want to open your machine to the rest of the world. But we are developers, we are working like on internet, on our machines, so we are kind of closed right now. We just want to experiment, mess things up, so we need dev server, okay? So you can click here and uh, then you can wait for a couple of seconds to process of downloading start or you can click here the same stuff okay so I already have this application as I said on my uh, desktop so that will be a breeze it's around 60 megabytes so no no issues about downloading now you can also use a vamp server or XAMPP or whatever the name is if it's your cup of tea and if you're on Linux you probably know how to do this up till now but I'm on Windows uh, because it's easier to work uh, sorry to record YouTube videos so I will just you know create stuff here on Windows so it's totally up to you what kind of three in one platform you're going to use because with the WAMP you basically get Apache and PHP and MySQL server the same thing with the uh, easy PHP let me let me show that so you get PHP, Apache, MySQL and a lot of other things including PHP MyAdmin which is needed to mess around with uh, databases and so on. But basically you don't need to care about these things. We are only interested in JavaScript. Okay. So where I was. Yeah. Let's run this thing. Important thing to note. Uh, run it as admin, okay? If you run it like normal user, you will run into problems when you start, when you try to run this uh, like application when you are done, okay? So this is installation. Installation, run as admin, okay? So let's see what's up. Uh, hopefully that something will happen. Uh, oh yeah, so we need to click on yes and select setup language, English, Okay, what will be the location? Yeah, sure. If you have some kind of custom configuration, like you know, need to install this into other di directories, that's fine, but I will just go with the default. Nothing special here. Yes, we need to create a desktop icon because it's easier. So install and let's see what's up. Maybe I will cut this video. It depends how this um, process will took of time, but hopefully that will not be a long process. So let me see what's up just a little bit just a couple of seconds and i think we are close to the end right so here's the thing do not click on finish here there is a reason i am telling that look uh click here i mean d check launch ehp dev server get uh, click on finish and now run this thing as an admin that is very important now everything will work fine if you do that as admin if you do that like a normal user you'll probably run into startup problems so run as admin uh, windows asked me do i want to do that yes and now if you look into your right lower corner lower right you will see a uh, new icon so let me just do a print screen uh, because i want to explain everything Right, so when you click on this icon, go to open dashboard. That means that you will run into control panel of easy dev server. Okay, that means, let me show that, that you can access this IP address. Basically, this is localhost and these four things here, four numbers, this is a port for your control panel. So now let's press enter. And nothing will happen because I didn't, oh yeah, I clicked on that before. So here's the thing. This is control panel. Do leave this database thing alone. We don't need that. We don't need MySQL for now. And we don't need PHP my admin down there. It is enough just to start HTTP server. So let's do that. Start. 
and in a couple of seconds you will see that everything is fine here okay when you see red thing here that means that you can cancel your server so basically right now the server is working let's check that when i type enter here i will run into this root of my server so when i click here i will get php information about my system but i don't care about php we are doing javascript here so what you need to do is go to server root let me get out from here and remember we have installed that into c into program files so let me find that yeah easy php dev server get into eds www this is a root of your web server okay and see php info.php that was the file we have accessed so we're gonna delete this thing and we're gonna create our our own index.html page that's what we need because there we will put our javascript so let me do that i will just delete that thing hopefully delete right now if you refresh uh this thing you will get pretty much nothing because there are no files in our root okay so what we need to do we need to go to notepad or whatever other editor you're using and let's type here plain html file so html we need to open it we need to close it and here at the top we need to have head section we don't care about head section right now we don't care about keywords uh, title or description we, we're just focused on javascript but we need to uh, type this as a skeleton of our page simple stuff you know this from uh, html tutorials so head and then body down there so we need to open it we need to close it simple stuff let's have a little bit of space here because this is the place that interested us so let's save it file save as and index.html okay don't save it as php save it as html file now when i click on save see i will get syntax highlighting and i can also have this option here that will save us a little bit of time and uh, now let's check those pages that page basically so refresh and there you go we are here because we don't have anything on this page you will not see content so right click view page source nothing is there except this uh, plain html tags okay so let's populate our our page with a stupid example to see that everything is working and refresh oops where is it yeah here refresh there you go everything works so this was plain html let's put a little bit of javascript here through editor to be sure that everything is fine with our browser and our server and our editor so let's do that you don't need to understand these things right now we will explain everything just follow me basically do copy pasting and in the next tutorial we're gonna ex start explaining everything so script type of file or of script basically will be text especially that will be javascript and then let's go there and we'll use function from javascript that is dedicated for printing things in browser so print uh sorry press tab here and type document write so we are writing to our basically page our document in javascript terminology and we're gonna say hack to planet that's from uh, hackers movie from 1995 i think very very excellent movies i have watched it like a couple of dozens of times that was like a jug for me for a couple of years well yeah I'm not going to talk about hacking here. That's weird stuff. Yeah, maybe in next tutorials. I don't know. So, yeah, where it was. Let's save this thing and uh, let's refresh it to see that everything is working. Well, I don't, why I don't see results? Let me see. Oh, yeah, I didn't close my script. Sorry about that. We must open and we must close our JavaScript. So that was extremely dumb, but it can happen now we will have the results 
Refresh, there you go. We are sure right now that everything is working fine. And in the next tutorial, we will start explaining about JavaScript. So you don't need to know these things. You don't need to understand. Don't worry, relax, breathe, and see you in next tutorials. Of course, thank you for watching, for support and subscription. So see you there.